Welcome to another episode, guys. This one finds us exploring Onslow and its surrounds. We start off in an awesome free camp called Three Mile Pool, which is on a station owned by Twiggy Forest, who's kindly put it up for free campers like us. We then check out the town, have a look at the foreshore, as well as the beautiful Anzac Memorial, before chasing some muddies for good measure. We hope you enjoy. I'm Brent, this is Kel, and together with our son Bear and dog Jazz, we're traveling Australia. Come and join us for our reality. What's worse, the scenery or eating like kings? <laughs> Nothing bad about either. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was just thinking these cows have the best bloody life. Not a bad spot to trot on down to, is it? Mm. There's so much bird life. Yeah. I was actually pleasantly surprised that they didn't keep us up all night. I thought they were going to be squawking away, but it was yeah. alright. Yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. All right, get that before the fly does. I will. I'm going to take the child. Yeah. This Sorry. is always interesting trying to eat my barbecue feast whilst holding the child and sitting outside and not getting eaten by muzzies. Hmm. Give it a go. Situated approximately 30 kilometres from Onslow town and based on the Ashburton River is the Three Mile Pool Free Camp, which we were staying at. No facilities here, just plenty of friendly cattle to say day to. It's easy access with a well graded dirt road once you get off the highway, so any normal van can get in here. Another few kilometres down the road is the old Onslow Township, which is definitely well worth a look to. Anybody who says this isn't their favourite part of the day is a liar. <laughs> Especially after this part of the world. Beautiful. The breeze is very warm. This is pleasant, I think. See the crocs? Rumour has it that there was a croc spotted here in the Ashburton River this year near Onslow, but my Google searches haven't uh, proved that yet, but I'm not doubting it. Apparently there's signs, we just missed them. Come on. Girl. Dinner time. What have we got? Mmm, pork. Pork fillet. On the barbecue. Yeah! Yeah! So many things that could look like little crocodiles. <laughs> Alright, let's get this food on. So we heard from some of the nomads that there was a bit of a croc sighting around here and I didn't think too much of it. But uh, we were just driving out today. And uh, they've got a warning sign here. Recent croc sighting, 4th of the 9th, 2020. Crocodile attacks can cause serious injury or death. Never knew. But, uh, so there, there must be something in there. I don't know, it looks crocky, but I just feel like we're a bit too far south. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. Keep an eye out if you're ever here. on the menu, Blind. my dear. Uh, sun? I can't see anything about the sun. <laughs> sun? He's down there. What's on the menu? Palmy night. Palmy night. Yeah. Is it Beedon Creek? 
That's the name of the creek, right? Beden? Yeah. Is that Beden Hotel in Onslow? Onslow Pub mm. is what I'd call it. Yeah, but that's what it's called, the Beden Hotel. Yeah. The lady at the caravan park told us it's a special night, so yeah, yeah give it a crack. Mm. Can't go wrong with the palmy, so let's go yeah. and see how it is. It's a beautiful night, it's cooled off, it was 37 today and it's only, I don't know what the date is, middle of September somewhere and it's getting really hot but it's just glorious now, it's about 5.30ish Thereabouts Yep, so perfect night to go to the pub and have a beer and a palmy Yeah, and probably the last time we eat out for... Yeah, for a while A good couple of weeks probably For many reasons <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Can't afford it mainly uh, Alright, let's go see what it's like. It's a nice old pub. It's a nice old pub. Mm. Palmy review. Oh, that was pretty good. We had the Mexican palmy. Oh, that was pretty good too. Mm. We shared one. 20 bucks, palmy night, Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday night. Yeah. And then happy hour until 6 o'clock, $6 pints. Don't go wrong. <laughs> but, just a tip, if you've got a dog, there is a dog area, but it's also the smoking area. So, for those that well, I think don't out, enjoy smoking. Out, everywhere outdoors is smoking. Yeah. So, you've got to sit outside with the dog. Um, which is all good. I don't know if people want to smoke, but we've got the baby. So not and like not really where you want to eat. No, but uh, just in case anybody's wondering. No, that was a pretty nice country pub. Yeah, good atmosphere and everything else. So give it a go. The, uh, what is it? The, the, what's the name of the creek? Beden. Beden. The Beden Bay the Hotel. Beden Bay Hotel. Mm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> so one of the big things when you're travelling is people think that they have to go without stuff. And... That's not the case at all, and uh, my tawny port is an example of that, which uh, I'm a bit of a port snob, I only drink port that's from Porto, Portugal, I don't know why, I do drink other port, but this is just really tasty, and it's generally pretty cheap as well, but it's uh, a bit of a nightcap every so often, love it, love it, so I'm going to get into it. I always get told off for having a real glass, but uh, that's all right. I'm going to continue to have them anyway. Cheers. Looking down towards the uh, salt jetty. Just the remnants of the old jetty down here. Quite a bit of history to this town. Nine hundred ninety-nine. <laughs> That's three. No, that was a thousand. <laughs> what do you think, Bear? Really sleep. Not quite. Not quite. Who needs a weight belt, hey? I need less weight. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's out of touch. Oh, well, keep going. Onslow, on Four Mile Creek. Let's have a look to see if it looks like good muddy ground. I'm trying not to get stuck anywhere in the process. She looks muddy. <laughs> well, footprints around here. You know what that means? No crabs left? No crabs. <laughs> Not a big creek, is it? No, or is? No, it's not. I don't think it goes that far. Um, quick squeeze. 
is. Check this little critter out. Little mud skipper. See him just down here. There we go. Going for a run. I don't know exactly what it is, but I think they can just stay a long time out of water. They still have gills and that. They are a fish. Cute little buggers. Oh mate. Some promising looking mangroves and there's a few holes in that here. I might have to uh, come back tomorrow once I get my hook. But, uh, there's a few. Might have something in them. Some deeper ones up around the other side as well. Definitely worth another look. Now, to me, that looks like a big muddy hole. But uh, I don't know whether it looks fresh or not. It's hard to tell. Let's see if we can find something to uh, help check. Prize him out, maybe. Just have a look, see what I've got. All right, I've got a bit of a stick here just to see if there's anything. If I can hear any shell when I get down in there. Big old burrow. It's deep. I need a proper hook to get get him out if there's anything in there. I don't have anything at the moment, so I might have to come back, have a look another time. Got my stick to mark it. So if I'm driving past, I might actually see it. That'll do for today. I'll go and have a look somewhere else. Well, unfortunately for me, the mud crabs live to fight again another day. I'll get them one day. We hope you've enjoyed our little trip to Onslow and uh, get some ideas for this awesome free camp at Three Mile Pool. If you're liking our videos, please like and subscribe and check out some more. We're continuing around the country and we have some great content to come. Cheers.